But before that, my next guests are two very special people. Christina Vasquez from Lurgan has a five-year-old daughter, Emily. Now, Emily has a condition called Dandy Walker Syndrome. It means she cannot walk, talk or sit up. Emily needs specialist care and she gets much of that from her nurse, Rosie Mulholland. Now Rosie's been nominated by Christina for a prestigious UK-wide award. I'll chat to the two of them shortly, but first, let's meet Emily and see Rosie at work. Thank you so much indeed for joining me this evening. Rosie, I can just tell you love your work. Absolutely. Greatest job, satisfaction ever. And how did you, when did you two first get together and when did you meet Emily? It's four it's years ago. Four years yeah. ago, yeah. yeah. So when did you know that there was a problem with Emily? Um, when I was scanned during my pregnancy, they spotted the fluid field cyst at the back of her brain. So we knew that... Well, they can't tell you for definite, but they knew there was something like Dandy Walker syndrome. So, yeah. So, you, you, how long was was Emily in hospital then? Whenever she was born, um, we got her home at first when she was about five months old, but she was only home for two weeks. She got sick mm. and had to go back. So, but we've got some lovely photos mm. of her. This is this is a, a photograph that means a lot to you. Yeah, that's her grandmother, my mother-in-law. Uh, sadly, she passed away a couple of months ago. She was. A massive help with Emily and um, she was at the hospital with us a lot learning to and, care for her. And this is a new, newborn Emily? Yeah, that Aww. was one of her first pictures. Oh, she's so adorable. Lots of hair. Yeah, a lot of hair. And then just put a couple and it of fell out. Oh. <laughs> it fell out after, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, so what, what, what exactly is the syndrome, Ro Rosie? Because I, it's something I'd never heard of before, but you have come across it. Yes, I've come across it in a number of other children before. And basically, as Christina has described, during a neutral development, the cyst forms in the back of the brain, which obviously impacts on brain development mm. and leads to the disabilities which Emily faces on a day-to-day -day basis. So how much help is Rosie to you, Christina? Massive help, massive support not with Emily and just with my whole family, with my two boys at home, Joshua and Ethan, you know, having a child with special needs impacts on everybody involved in her care. And Rosie just goes above and beyond. And I know that she's always there if I need her. Because it is important because uh, when, whenever you have a child that, that needs just that little bit of extra care, the other two can feel like, yeah. well, mummy's all just too busy. Mummy's always busy. Yeah. So yeah, it has. It's in, my oldest is fantastic with Emily. Ethan adores her, my little boy, but he also misses having his mum around. The first couple of years of Emily's life was hard. Well, it seems that this was a natural thing to nominate Rosie for the award, and I can tell you're mortified by this, aren't absolutely, you? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> you're happy just Good going on with your work. <laughs> but the pair of you are going to London. Yeah. yeah. Yay! I mean, look no. at that. Uh -huh. <laughs> so Girls excited. on tour. Yeah. Absolutely. Get to dress up. <laughs> and, and Emily's going to be staying with her dad? Yeah, she's staying yeah. with her daddy while I'm away. She gets some daddy time. Oh, yeah. that, that's lovely. And the awards are in a fortnight's time. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. You're yeah. representing Northern Ireland, Rosie. No pressure. That, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to be fantastic. Please let us know if, if when you win. Thanks. You're the only nurse in the People's <laughs> Award, so we, we've got our fingers crossed for you. Mm -hmm. Have an absolutely fabulous time. Mm -hmm. It's such a well-deserved nomination. Christina, mm -hmm. thank you for yeah. nominating Rosie, and thank Good. you for joining me here this evening. And give Emily a big hug from Rosie. us, will you? Thank, thank you so you. much thank indeed. You. I can't, well, wish I was going to London too. <laughs> well, many congratulations <laughs> to them. Well, yes.